Hi, so welcome to the strategic session for the ancient India. In this session, we'll be discussing about which are the important observations that we can see from the trend of last four to five years. Then we'll talk about the previous year questions. Ki bhai kaisa question aa raha hai, kis topic mein se kaisa theme aa raha hai, and how you have to train yourself for that specific part. And if you wish to score the highest marks in history optional, then you have to think about each and every small topic. Okay, then only you can get the maximum marks. You have to also understand which part of the syllabus is more important than the others and what kind of questions are going to come on that specific topics. With this in mind, let us try to understand each and everything about ancient India. The most important things, we'll see the trends. Then we talk about the which kind of topics are coming in the PYQ. Then I'll also talk about the training methods which are required for you to score the highest marks. All right, as per the theme. Then finally, we'll discuss about how you have to do answer writing. Like all of you know, without answer writing, you cannot score the highest marks in any optional. Forget about history. You can get in any optional. That's why, but what would be the right thing for you? You should go for daily answer writing or you should go for an optional test series. Or do you require content enrichment? Because if your themes of these previous years, questions, they are not being prepared or the manner in which you have made your notes, they are not compatible with this, then you have to think very quickly. Okay, if you wish to get maximum marks next year itself, 24, and finally, which specific practices you should do from now onwards so that you can get a good rank in civil services. Look, the whole civil services exam is wide open. You can get in within one year itself. You can get within, you can take even four to five years. But the most important thing for all of us is if we are starting now, what should be the best strategy for us for 2024? Okay. And if you're preparing from 2025 in, in your in your mindset, then uske liye bhi kya karna? because look, time is never, uh, you can say less or more, it's always adequate. So, and we have to act accordingly. All right, so let us now see the most important things. The first thing would be trend or the observations that we have on the questions which are being asked by UPSC. And I'll get you through them very quickly. Number one, if you see debate specific questions are asked, being asked from various themes. Historiography is being asked upon Mauryas, the questions are being asked on Harappan civilization. It is also being asked upon early medieval period like feudalism, which we'll cover in the medieval later on. So debate, historiography remains very, very important in ancient India. You cannot leave it. Okay. Second come questions from sources have been asked regularly. Archaeological sources, literary sources. UPSC is asking them repeatedly. Ek ke baad ek question aata ja Third, very less number of questions are going to come from prehistoric period. 2017, last year, in 2023, because last year, because mains has already happened. So this year, they have asked one question from Neolithic period. That too was a little bit of related to debate. But very less uh, number of questions are going to come from here. question aata hai. civilization, every year you can expect one question and major focus would be on origin and decline. Even though this year they have shifted a little bit, we'll discuss about it later. Vedic period, lots of importance on the culture and the religion part of Vedic period. You have to understand that since our connected history, if we see it, it starts only from the Vedic period onwards. Our culture with respect to society, with respect to our religious practices for Hindus, it all starts from Vedic period. That's why it becomes very, very important. Next, if we see the questions on Buddhism and Jainism, the major focus has been on the starting point. Okay, the starting point is mostly about how did they origin, like what were the factors responsible for the rise of Buddhism, what were the limitations of the Vedic religion, okay, that is where the maximum questions are coming, even the connection of Upanishad with this shamanic tradition, that is being asked in the exam and try to understand that. Then Mauryas remains very, very important, their imperial ideology, apparatus, legitimization of kingship, the first pan-India empire, lots of sources are there, Vigastini's Indica is there, then we have Art Shastra obviously and finally even the Ashokan inscription, all of that we have with us. That's why very num high number of questions are going to come from here. Then finally, if we see the rest of the observation on topic like post-Mauryan, Questions are going to come on economy, like Kushan's economy was very famous, okay. Then finally, we talk about architecture. Yes, architecture, the post modern schools of architecture are very, very famous. Then if you see questions from Gupta period, comparative questions are coming with respect to, you can say, economy, status of women, society, economy, har tariya question yaha pe gara hai. We'll see later on. Then if you see from South India, from South, South India, they're asking questions sometimes from megalithic period, 5 saal mein ek bar push lete hai. If you see from Sangam period, Sangam period, there is only one theme, ki what was the uh, understanding okay, the, of the society and the culture can we get from the Sangam age 
text okay that we have to understand and finally if we talk about chola so they are asking questions about the achievements of cholas with respect to their architecture local self governance as well as the conquest so because of all of this okay we can narrow down the overall syllabus of ancient india because dekho hum sab ko marks leke aana hai in ancient india the first question is map you can see the strategy i have already shared along with everything okay to usko zarur dekhna don't just see one video aur baki sab ko chhod ke bola ki mera to kuch zyada fayda nahi hua aapko sare videos dekhne padenge these sessions are very very important that's why i am we are taking them slowly as well as i'm reducing the time limit also ki ye nahi ki lambe discussion because patience aaj ki date mein har kisi ka khatam ho chuka hai okay so please make sure you watch all of them so if you want to get maximum marks in paper 1 think about map also then think about ancient india so in ancient india these are the 11 super trends which you can think about and if you follow this you're bound to get very good marks because this is where upsc is checking your testing okay they, they want to know eventually ki yaar kaise aapke marks aane wale hain that will depend purely kaisa aapne content likha hai cholas aapne padh liya lekin cholas ke upar if you're not able to write well on local self governance you're not unaware of the uh, famous inscription okay like utra merur and the parantaka first king etc etc so those analysis points are going to become very very important and isko hamesha dhyan rakhna inko agar follow karoge you'll get very good marks in 24 let us now go to the second part the second part is about the topics of previous year question first the most important part of our syllabus is sources and see repeatedly like in 2018 they asked about early indian historical tradition there is a very big debate ki in india were we having any kind of history writing or not then romila thapar explain was it embedded or versus versus the externalized so india since it's a lineage based society she says here the majority of the history is going to be embedded and that tradition came to be known as itihas puran and that's a very big debate Th this kind of uh, history system has been even criticized by albaruni okay so that's the super trend we can see in sources second basic level question archaeological sources plus literary sources how they help in the better understanding of each other and last comes the foreign accounts ki what was the positives and the negatives of foreign accounts if we say about megasthenes phaian hun sang etc etc all of these people kitna unhone inke india ke bare mein likha what are the positives and the negatives of those various foreign travelers the sources remain important please remember it Pre-history, 2023 only one question came. Ki, do we call it a revolution? We Gordon Child talks about it. I have told you repeatedly, debate type questions are going to be important part of ancient India. And if you do not have very good understanding of these trends, okay, in every specific topic, like newly thing, you have to know everything. But this topic, you are not able to understand it well. So marks are not going to get you. So you must think that I am studying, I am not getting marks, etc., etc. There is no one who is good. मॉरली अपने आप को सही रख के मार्क्स नहीं लेके आ सकता यूपीएससी में कि भाई मेरा तो अच्छा हो मुझे मार्क्स आ जाने चाहिए नो दिस इज नॉट हाउ इट वर्क्स यू हैव टू डेवलप द स्किल्स एंड दी स्किल्स आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो मेक श्योर प्री हिस्ट्री में वैसे ही क्वेश्चन कम आते हैं बहुत ही मुश्किल से दो चार ट्रेंड हैं जिसपे यू पूछ सकता है उसी को आप प्रिपेयर करो अच्छे से नेक्स्ट कम्स हर अपन सिविलाइजेशन सी द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके वी आर ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट लास्ट फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर देखो कितने सारे क्वेश्चन हैं questions are coming on the urban character means its origin then it, indus saraswati cultural zone has both homogeneity as well as diversity this was the question which was asked in 23 very relatively easy question to bora lekin aapka analysis hona chahiye because this question is going for each and every trend political economic social cultural etc trade aspects sab kuch iske andar aa jayega then the nature of decline of harappa again the question is on decline then again on origin Did the mastery of agriculture led to the beginning of the urbanization? Then again, the question comes about there the role of ecological factors in the rise as well as the decline of the Harappan civilization. Look, यार ये सारी चीजें अगर आप समझ लोगे ना तो बहुत अच्छे नंबर आने वाले हैं और बहुत कम टाइम में आ जाएंगे. I'm not saying it is a shortcut, but अगर इसको फॉलो करोगे ना तो मेहनत कम करनी पड़ेगी. लेकिन इसके साथ साथ में आपको इन टॉपिक्स में मास्टर भी करनी पड़ेगी. ये नहीं कि हम ऊपर से प्लेन पढ़के छोड़ दें. हर बार क्वेश्चन में थोड़ा सा वेरिएशन होगा और जब भी थोड़ा सा वेरिएशन होता ना तो हमारी सबसे बड़ी दिक्कत क्या होती है ना हम वही आंसर लिख के आते हैं जो हमें समझ में आता है एंड दिस इज हाउ वी गेट लेस मार्क्स इन यूपीएससी वी हैव टू शो दैट इवन इफ यू गोइंग टू चेंज द क्वेश्चन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट वी कैन डिवाइड इट इन टू वेरियस पर्स ऑफ पार्ट एंड देन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट इट देन कम्स अबाउट वैदिक पीरियड सो इन वैदिक पीरियड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आते हैं दिस ईयर दे आस्क अबाउट अ डिबेट टाइप क्वेश्चन कंपेटिव स्टडी ऑफ लैंग्वेज आर्कोलॉजिकल सोर्सेज एंड वास्ट कॉर्स ऑफ लिटरेचर हाउ डू वी अंडरस्टैंड द आर्यन प्रॉब्लम इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री देखो आर्यन प्रॉब्लम क्या है ऐसा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आर्यन बट इफ यू सी द आर्यन वी डो नॉट नो एक्जैक्टली अबाउट फ्रॉम वेयर डिट दे केम सो दे डिबेट बिहाइंड इट वी डो नॉट नो एक्जैक्टली वर द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द डिक्लाइन ऑफ द हारपन्स 
then how did they expanded their uh, culture within India? There are lots of things, their relationship with the Iranian branch of the Aryans, etc., etc. Et so lots of hist historical, uh, historical debates are there in this topic. Then the transformation of Varna system from Rig Vedic literature and its, import, uh, its impact on the position of women, comparison of Vedic versus Harappa, how if we see the super theme, then initially we have the Vedic period, then we see the rise of Buddhism and Jainism, and eventually lots of methods were used by the Brahminical religion to revive itself. And one of them was the beginning of the Purana. This again gets linked to this, how Puranas as a literature part were very, very innovative in, in, in reviving the Vedic religion. Again, impact, uh, the nature of religion of the Rig Vedic period, how to understand it, what were the different categories of gods, and what was the importance of Upanishads. Upanishads are considered as sacred texts for the Hindus. Okay, and even when we talk about Satya Mev Jayate, Mundaka Upanishad, so how Upanishad becomes very, very important and why it is considered as the best category of thoughts that the Vedic Aryans could have. These are the categories of question you can easily find in the Vedic periods. Please under, try to understand them. Don't just read the polity, economy, society, Varna system. Yes, that is going to be important. That's the basic level that you can have for the Vedic period. But this is where you have to go. This is the Basic, basic test of your understanding. If you don't develop your understanding on these topics, then you will write two or four pages, but you will not marks. So make sure you understand this now. From second memorization, they are asking question about the decline of the republics, Gana Sanghas. Nationalist historians consider them as republics, while if you see from the neutral perspective, they look more like Gana Sanghas. I mean, they were oligarchies, okay, if you see the perspective of Upanishad. So, this is where the question is coming, why did they decline? Then the question comes about the process of urbanization after the later Vedic period, by Kyo start who urbanization, political, economic, then, then the evaluation of the status of Alexander in Indian history. Initially, as all of us know, that since Alexander, he was a European, when British started controlling us, they glorified Alexander, okay? But eventually, what, start, what we see, by unke baare mein the maximum India ke text mein likha hi nahi hua hai. It means it was not a very, very important uh, kind of invasion if we see from Indian history point of view. This is a debate which is about between the scholars and isko evaluate karna aapko aana chahiye. Okay, so please. In each and every specific part of the syllabus, which specific things you have to do. Like when you have to study urbanization, you have to study about the economy. You have to study about what are the factors, challenges, what are the important events of that area. These are the questions from second urbanization. Then comes along with this Buddhism and Chinism. See the trend of question. Ideas of Buddhism, okay? then the concept of shamanic religion as well as the overall, okay, what were the factors responsible for the rise of Buddhism which includes the political economic roots of rulers, economic and status of merchant and finally the cultural milieu, what was the culture which was developing in the 6th century BC which became responsible for the rise of Buddhism. So, Buddhism is given, given more priority than Jainism. And that's why your focus should also be on Buddhism. Then, if you see Mauryas, they are asking about the contours of imperial ideology. Okay, what is this contour of imperial ideology? So whenever we talk about Arshastra, it talks about Satanga Rajya theory. If you see from the perspective of the Ashokan inscription, that also talks about lots of things. Okay, like the patri uh, patri uh, paternal type of state, which was to be created by the Mauryas, specifically under the rule of Ashoka. So, we have to know about these things. Ashoka is Dhamma. Two, three types of questions have been asked on Dhamma. What was the nature of Dhamma? Was it just a tool for political aggrandizement perspective which we see or was it having perspective of moral upliftment, social harmony as well as the extension of state's authority? Then was it centralized, decentralized and eventually they are also asking about only on the basis of one source. If you use multiple sources, multiple interpretations are going to come. Just tell us on the basis of Arthashastra. Was it centralized or decentralized? See, this is how UPSC plays with questions. Same things, if your understanding is less than one place, the next time you will come, what was the nature of state of the Mauryas as per the Megasthenes Indica. Okay, if this question comes, but you don't know the points, then you will write the point that you will not be able to do it. Okay, keep in mind these things. Post Mauryas, lots of questions on economy, like we have already talked about international trade, trans-regional continental trade. Discovery of monsoon by Hippolas, how it led to Im improvement of trade with the Romans, then the art and architecture, then Shunga specifically, very less questions are going to come from Shunga dynasty, Pushyamitra Shunga, who was responsible for the decline of the Mauryas. But if we see the two pictures, he is considered as a person who persecuted the Buddhists, and that's why in many of the Buddhist texts he has been considered as a cruel person. 
but if we see from the eyes of his son okay agni mitra so we do not find the person being responsible for the persecution of the buddhist and in fact he was responsible for the extension of the art of stupa and the significance of external influence on indigenous development on post mauryan art then the political features of post mauryan uh, northern india so here you have to understand about indigenous dynasties also okay shungas kanvas as well as the external indo greek shakas kushans इकोनॉमिक अचीवमेंट ऑफ गुप्ता वर्सेज कुछ आना दिस इज ऑल्सो कम इन पोस्ट मॉरियन तो कुछ कुछ जगह कॉम्बिनेशन होगा तीन गुप्तास जब आस्ट अबाउट इट इज करेक्ट टू सेट पोस्ट पोस्ट गुप्ता पीरियड वॉज रिमार्कल फॉर द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ रिलीजियस कल्ट सो यू हैव टू कंपेयर इट विद द गुप्ता पीरियड फर्स्ट वट वॉज द रिलीजियस कल्ट इन द गुप्ता पीरियड एंड हाउ इट एक्सपेंडेड लेटर ऑन कंपेरिजन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन इन गुप्ता पीरियड कंपेयर टू प्री गुप्ता पीरियड एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन इन आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर दैन लैंड ग्रांड्स संस्कृत लिटरेचर ओके हाउ इट रीच इट्स इट्स क्लाइमेक्स अंडर द गुप्ता ऑल ऑफ अस्म अबाउट लाइक कालिदास then varna ashram dharma system how did it manifest and how did it uh, eventually created the complexity in gupta and the post gupta period questions are not that direct this is one thing which i can easily see some questions are easy but many of the questions like this you need to have complete understanding along with facts not just basic level understanding that's how you can make a, a, or you can write a good answer if i see from megalithic periods like i have divided the whole pattern into two parts so from north india these were the things starting from south india one question came on megalithic period in 2021 okay and it was all about if it will be proper to consider them as a single homogeneous or a contemporaneous culture this is a debate that we have ye sab ek jaise hai ya nahi hai like we see the megalithic site from south to the north also to and mostly the concentration is in the south india but what 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 kind of material life cultural system is revealed in the megalithic cultures so time and again ek other question in se aane wala just like in the we talked about the pre uh, history pre history period same like megalithic also it had that kind of characters sangam culture time and again if we see the how far sangam literature acts as a window in social and cultural tradition salient feature of cultural tradition of south india evolution and development of regional temple architecture with reference to pallava so that specific part sangam literature uske baad ka architecture jo aapko mostly pallava se and then even the temple architecture to isko hum reform kar sakte hain sangam culture plus temple architecture so in temple architecture lots of questions are coming directly from south india so do theme saath mein merge rehti hain kabhi is pe question kabhi us pe so last you can see a temple architecture maritime expansion then the analysis of k n shastri or nilkant shastri and finally they were not mighty conquerors efficient admission and also builders of fine temples mind it that uh, cholas are being asked sometimes in ancient india sometimes in medieval india we can never know upsc ka jahan man karta wahan pe question puch lete hain theek hai so we but we don't have to worry about it hame to prepare karna hai ye topic so these are the types of uh, topics which are being targeted by upsc in these specific themes okay to ab hame एक चीज और जाननी थी कि आगे हमें ट्रेनिंग अपनी कैसे करनी चाहिए होल प्रिपरेशन पार्ट इज मोर लाइक अ ट्रेनिंग वी शुड लर्न इफ लर्निंग इज नॉट हैपनिंग देन इट मींस वी आर फेलिंग समवेयर लर्निंग इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड लर्निंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन इफ यू मेक नंबर वन विथ नोट्स बिकॉज विदाउट नोट्स इफ यू रिलाई ओनली ऑन द बुक्स इट टेक्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अमाउंट of hard effort okay to revise them again aur wo bhool bhi jate hain theek hai to crisp notes aapko banana hai when you are studying all these things that is number 1 second for answer writing there are lots of videos which have been uploaded by us okay from last year onwards to aap dekhiye ki answer writing karni kaise hoti hai how to go for introduction how to go for structure how to go for conclusion how it depends upon the directives ki explain hai to kya karna hai comment hai to kya karna hai critical examine hai to kaise likhna hai ये आपका सेकंड लेवल रहेगा एंड थर्ड हैव टू आल्सो इंश्योर दैट यू डू इट इन ए वेरी कंसिस्टेंट एज वेल एज टाइमली मैनर आप पूरे दिन में एक आंसर लिखोगे सुबह इंट्रोडक्शन लिखा शाम को बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर बनाते हैं और रात को लिखेंगे कंक्लूजन ऐसे दुनिया नहीं चलने वाली है ठीक है पूरा उसको एक टाइमली मैनर में फिनिश करना पड़ेगा एंड साथ में यू हैव टू इंटीग्रेट द पी वाई क्यूज ओके दर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग विच आर यू हैव टू डू कि कुछ हम हम कर सकते हैं इफ़ यू विश टू ज्वाइन एनी ऑफ द कोर्स ऑफ रैप करियर तो आपको बहुत सारी हेल्प मिल जाएगी आपको डिपेंडिंग अपॉन किस कोर्स का आप पार्ट बनना चाहते हैं अगर मैप में प्रॉब्लम है तो मैप वहाँ से आपको ईजिली बन सकता है ठीक है मैप के लिए भी आपको नोट्स अच्छे से बनाना सीखना पड़ेगा बिकॉज मैप इज़ एन एरिया जहाँ पर बहुत अच्छे मार्क्स हम स्कोर कर सकते हैं तो इन सब चीज़ों पर आपको फोकस जरूर करना पड़ेगा 
राइट दैट्स वाई दिस सेवन डे मास्टर क्लास हैज बिन स्टार्टेड बाई मी कोशिश करो सारे वीडियोज़ देखो मैप का देखो एंशन इंडिया का तो अभी ये करंट वाला है मीडिया वर्ल्ड मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड सारा देखो लास्ट में हम चार ओवरव्यू सेशन भी करेंगे कि अगर हम पढ़ाई करना शुरू करें फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम तो क्या हमारा एक तरीके से ये बोल सकते हैं स्ट्रेटजी होना चाहिए तो वो हम मास्टर क्लास में देखेंगे कि अगर मैंने बुक उठाई एंशन इंडिया की मीडिया की मॉडर्न की वर्ल्ड की और किस तरीके से हम उसको यूटिलाइज करें अपने पूरे पूरे टाइम को ठीक है सो दैट विल बी डिस्कस्ड अलॉन्ग विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक देखो हर किसी को लगता है कि अगर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक से दोगे तो उससे पास हो जाएंगे उससे आपका थोड़ा काम आसान हो जाता है ठीक है दैट दैट बिकम्स अ काइंड ऑफ वे इन विच अगर चॉइसेस सिंस चॉइसेस आने वाली हैं आपके ऑप्शन पेपर में तो आप इजीली आपको चूज कर पाओगे उनको राइट देन इफ यू विश टू हैव एक्सेस टू ईच एंड एवरी और इवन द ट्रेंड्स दैट वी हैव द पी पी आपको गूगल फॉर्म में रजिस्टर करो यू गेट ए कॉल बैक एंड इवेंचुअली यूल बी गिवन दिस मटेरियल वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ अचीवमेंट्स इन लास्ट टू ईयर्स रैंक वन वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर डेस्ट सीरीज लॉट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैव कम इन द टॉप हंड्रेड एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो बिकम लाइक दैम ओके बिकॉज देखो हर बार अपने बेसिस पे जब हम मेहनत करना शुरू करते हैं इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम और ड्रिफ्टिंग भी बहुत ज़्यादा होती है वी हैव बीन एबल टू जैक मी माई सेल्फ हर्ज गॉट थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर मार्क्स रैंक वन मुखुल एंड ऑल ऑफ अस वी आर इन द ब्रैकेट ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड टू थ्री हंड्रेड टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी तो हम आराम से वहाँ तक पहुँच सकते हैं इफ यू आर अ वेरी न्यू स्टूडेंट तो फाउंडेशन कोर्स के बारे में सोच सकते हो संपूर्ण क्रांति इज फॉर दोज पीपल हु हैव रिटन मीन्स और दोज हुव कम्प्लीटली डन दर फाउंडेशन और कुछ कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही हैं चाहे आंसर राइटिंग में आ रही है चाहे कंटेंट में आ रही है चाहे कुछ स्पेसिफिक एरियाज में आ रही है जहाँ पर कंसेप्ट में बड़ी दिक्कत आती है जैसे फ्यूडलिज्म एज अ कंसेप्ट तो कैसे लिखना है भाई वो अपने वही समझ नहीं आता तो दिस कोर्स इज फॉर यू अगर ये समझ नहीं आ रहा वट इज़ अनलाइटनमेंट आंसर कैसे लिखूँ संपूर्ण क्रांति एक ही कोर्स है सब कुछ एंड एंड कर देगा संपूर्ण दैन टेस्ट सीरीज इफ योर कंटेंट इज गुड इनफ नोट्स बने हुए हैं रिवीजन करने के सिर्फ टाइमली मैनर में तीन घंटे में टेस्ट लिखना चाहते हो हाफ टेस्ट लिखना चाहते हो तो दोनों तरीके के टेस्ट आपको मिल जाते हैं इन द टेस्ट सीरीज डेली आंसर राइटिंग प्रोग्राम भी हमने स्टार्ट किया सो दैट दो स्टूडेंट्स हु विश टू बी रेगुलर कि भाई चार महीने मुझे रेगुलर रह के पर डे बेसिस पे करना देखो दो तरीके की स्ट्रेटी थी या तो आप डेली बेसिस पे कर लो या फिर आप एटलीस्ट वीकली लेवल पे एक टेस्ट कर लो दोनों में से आपको एक तो चूज करना पड़ेगा इफ यू एटर बिगनिंग लेवल की बड़ी कमिटमेंट नहीं कर सकते कि टेस्ट सीरीज नहीं हो पाएगी मुझसे इतना जल्दी तो मेरे को थोड़ा पहले खुद से लिख के देखना है एक दो महीने फिर बाद में सोचूंगा उसके बारे में तो आप डेली आंसर राइटिंग स्टार्ट कर दीजिए एटलीस्ट डेली आपको वीडियो मिलेंगे मॉडल आंसर्स मिलेंगे आपका एक पूरा अच्छे तरीके से प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट हो जाएगा ओके देन मैपिंग प्रोग्राम है हमारे पास इफ यू आर फेलिंग इन क्रिएटिंग राइट काइंड ऑफ नोट्स फॉर द मैपिंग और अप्रोच कैसे बनानी है और लास्ट जो प्रोग्राम है दैट इज द प्रोग्राम दैट हैज बिन स्टार्टेड वेरी रिसेंटली नोन एज हॉक्स इसमें हम क्या करेंगे कि आपको समझाएंगे कि आंसर राइटिंग कैसे करनी है टॉपर्स की कॉपीज दिखाएंगे आपको उसके साथ में कि उन्होंने कैसे लिखा था कैसे यू पी एस सी ने इतना उनको रिवॉर्ड किया तो वो सारी चीज़ें आपको इस फाइनल प्रोग्राम में मिलेंगी और राइट सो कोई भी प्रोग्राम जो आपको लगता है कि भाई ये आपको काम का है तो यू कैन थिंक अबाउट यू कैन गेट काउंसलिंग ऑल्सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट कोई प्रॉब्लम है कि मुझे ये चाहिए ये नहीं चाहिए एक्सेक्टा एक्सेक्टा जो भी आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट हो एज पर योर ओन डिपेंडिंग बिकॉज देखो फाइनल मेहनत आपको ही करनी है हम लोगों का काम है कि आपको सही ओरिएटेशन प्रोवाइड कर दें फाइव टू टेन परसेंट आपका जो होता है ना कि भाई अगर आपकी एनर्जी ठीक से चैनलाइज नहीं हुई ठीक है ना तो हम भी उसका क्या कर सकते हैं ठीक है आपको हर तरीके से हेल्प कर सकते हैं लेकिन वो फाइनल एनर्जी तो चैनलाइजेशन आपको करना ही पड़ेगा और जो हमारा पाँच दस परसेंट एक स्टेक होता है ना किसी की भी सक्सेस में वो तभी यूजफुल होगा जब आप 90 परसेंट एनर्जी को ठीक से चैनलाइज कर पाओगे कंसिस्टेंट रहना सीखना पड़ेगा लाइफ में उसी के साथ में पर डे बेसिस पे यू कैन नॉट क्वेश्चन योर सेल्फ कि मेरा पास हो पाऊंगा नहीं हो पाऊंगा वो सब चीज़ें मत करो ठीक है अच्छा प्लान बनाओ उसको रेगुलरली फॉलो करो रेगुलर टाइम पर मैंटरशिप लो कि भाई मुझे ये प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही हैं इसको कैसे सॉल्व करना एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड दिस इज़ हाउ एवरीबडी हैज़ बिकम ए टॉपर एंड आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑल्सो फॉलो द सेम प्रोसेस ओके सो प्लीज़ इस पूरी सीरीज़ को जरूर देखो मैं आपको भी देखो एंशेंट मिडेवल मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड सब के लिए एक एक पार्ट आ रहा है एंड देन ओवरव्यू सेशंस और आएंगे कि कैसे इसको संभालना चाहिए किस तरीके से पढ़ना चाहिए टॉपिक्स के लिंकेजेस यूपीएससी में बहुत साइंटिफिक तरीके से नहीं दिया हुआ है एकदम से एनलाइटनमेंट आता है फिर सोशलिज्म आ जाता है इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन बहुत पीछे दिया हुआ है तो उसको कैसे पढ़ना है वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री में वो सारी चीज़ें भी आपको जानना शुरू करना पड़ेगा ठीक है सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट अच्छे
अपना अच्छे से प्रिपरेशन करो और अच्छा रिजल्ट प्रोड्यूस करो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट